Games and Festivals. The Psychedelic Sayonara began as part of a percussion group on campus, and that's how we got our first drum on campus. And then afterwards, we split off, and with the help of Mood Geico, which is now Enso Geico, up in the city, they helped us get more drums and some initial training. And then after that, we passed down the songs orally to this new generation of Psycho people at Sayonara. This year, we've been really busy. We, in March, we put on a concert with uh, other groups, other Psycho groups from the Twin Cities. Um, it was a group community concert that we put on, and that was a really great time. And then in April, we were able to, with, we partnered with Enso Geico to bring Yuki Kamuro and Daichi no Kai to St. Louis from Japan. And we had a really fantastic concert and a workshop, which you'll see a little snippet of later in the concert today. So introducing our first song is Jacob and Nick.
taught us special methods to get an extra punch out of our drumming. And this is sort of a, a classic practice pattern that you use that uses a lot of the basic movements and basic patterns that you can make into any movement, any kind of song that you want to do in formulation. You can take all the parts of this and make it into a beautiful and excellent improvisation. So we're going to play for you the little thing that we learned from which is based on a common uh, animated TV show called Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, I hope you enjoy it.
hope you enjoyed a little improv by some of our members. Our next song is titled Oichi. entitled Asian Ica, and it came from San Jose Taiko, and it's now in the public domain. The inspiration for Asian Ica came from the high energy of Japanese festivals and folk dances. Asian Ica is dedicated to the first Japanese immigrants to America and celebrates Japanese American history throughout movements, through movements that reflect the, Jap the first Japanese immigrants to America's work in agriculture, mining, and railroad construction.
next song is Ryu, and this song depicts the story of a village that is peacefully existing until one day a dragon comes along. And the dragon comes with fire and fury and comes and disrupts the little village. So listen for the different sounds of the village's reaction as the dragon comes along. is titled Biscuits in Danger. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this song.
So this song is entitled Yubin Kyoku no Tabi. This song was written by a St. Olaf student about his journey to the post office one Saturday. So one Saturday, his mother had sent him a cake through the post office. The only problem was that he only had about 10 minutes before it closed for the weekend. So in desperation, he runs across campus to get to his cake and makes it there just in time. So this song documents his story, his adventure of running across campus to get to his cake. And as such, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day. Thank you, moms, for all that you do. We really appreciate you. Thank you.
ready for our next song. Our next song, as we had Earthbender before, we now have Waterbender. It's also another title for it is The Big Wave.
Hello. My name is Raymond, and I am a senior Tyco member. And as a senior, I was asked to speak today to distract you while they were doing stuff behind me. Obviously, I failed very miserably. Um, but as a senior, you know, we tend to procrastinate. And, uh, well, you know, I have two weeks left, right? Uh, well, before I start, happy Mother's Day. Sorry, audience, that wasn't to you. I haven't wished my mom a happy Mother's Day yet. And you too, Grandma. Um, but, you know, so they told me to do this, and I put it off, obviously. But I, as a future college graduate with a diploma, I wrote something down. <clears throat> Since it's Mother Day, I thought it, would be, uh, I thought it would be nice to dedicate this routine to the best strugglers out there, moms. As many moms in the audience can tell you, Mother's Day is a day to honor your mother with extravagant gifts, but I'm a broke college kid. Uh, sorry, Mom. But the next best thing is a macaroni portrait, right? But the calf was all out of macaroni, so strike two. Um, so I'm going to make my mom a gift, right? You know, a lot of kids who are poor and have no talent, uh, they try and do something nice for their mom. So. I'm gonna juggle for her, because that's what every mother wants, is their son to juggle live on stage in front of the audience, right? Um, but there are some reasons for the reason why I'm juggling. is because moms, they're really the best jugglers, you know? They have to handle kids, working, cleaning, all this other stuff that, you know, moms don't get enough credit for, right? So, um, I'm gonna juggle a little bit. I'll probably drop a lot of things, but I'm not perfect, but I like to dedicate this to my mother um, because she's one of those things in my life who, to me, is pretty perfect. Thank you. So, as a mom, I'll start with one. So, one juggling ball is really easy to juggle because you can just grab onto it. It's just like having one kid. You know, your, your kid wanders off, you're like, nope, come back here. And you just hold on to it. Two, you can still grab both arms, right? But if they go in both directions, it's a little harder. So you have to start juggling. And you know, two is manageable. But juggling bean bags or pots like this is a lot like having kids. One, okay, you got it, you got it. it there may be some bumps along the way. Two, okay, we got through the first one, right? Three is when you kind of have to let go and you have to have one in the air. And sometimes these are weird things, right? Kids are weird. Sometimes they go really high, and they want to stay up there. And then sometimes they just fall out of your grasp. <laughs> now, gloves are more like teenagers. As you can see, they're, I think, a little bit more difficult to juggle. And in some circumstances, you just got to kick them to get started, right? <laughs> oh, you got to kick them again. Come on. Get out of bed. <laughs>
song tonight is titled Raku, which means fun, and it's a group song that we really like to all play together. So we thought we'd share it with you for our last song. Thank you very much. Now, they don't know this is happening, but as soon as they saw me walking toward the microphone, and as soon as I started saying this, they know what's going to happen. So I like to make it so that we can go faster, because in practice, one way that we see how we can stay together is going at high speeds. So if you would like to hear that song where we're spinning and bocce are flying, and it's very dangerous at that speed, go much faster. If you cheer, we will do it. They were going to do it anyway, but thank you.
thank you all for coming out here, and I want to thank all of our Tyco team members for the last four years. It's been a really great time, and it's been really special. So thank you, everyone. <laughs>